these mid-range and high-end gaming laptops lying into the Legion line a few years back, and we've always been great fans of the Legion models. The Legion and the Legion Y530 in particular were formidable entries in 2019, and for 2020 the Legion 5 takes the line to newer heights. On looks, the Legion 5 shares the same busy look as its predecessor, the Legion Y series, despite coming in as a rebrand. However, the chunky profile, 0.9 inches thick, 5.41 pounds, doesn't quite match the minimalist design of competitors like the Aces ROG Zephyrus M at 0.78 inches and 4.39 pounds. The Legion 5 sports a 15.6 inch 1920 by 1080 IPS screen that's a step above budget on both brightness and color range, while at the same time rocking a 144Hz 100% sRGB display that's perfect for speedy frame rates. The Legion 5's AMD Ryzen 7 4800H CPU and 8GB of RAM will handle most of your productivity tasks with unmatched ease. Gaming laptops are never good when it comes to battery life, of course with a few exceptions. You're getting at least 4 hours and 13 minutes of sustained use, which includes continuous web browsing and video streams over Wi-Fi at 150 nits of brightness. It definitely is one of the best AMD Ryzen laptops in the market, and you should check it out. Number 4. Apple MacBook Air M1 – Best for the Money The MacBook Air is the first of two new laptops with Apple's first-of-its-kind own brand M1 processor, which makes for a giant leap in performance and battery life. From the outside, almost nothing about the M1 MacBook Air has changed since the one from April. They match in size and weight, number of ports, microphones and speakers. The 13.3-inch screen supports the wider DCI-P3 color space, a feature hitherto reserved for the more expensive MacBook Pro. The inside of the Air is almost exactly the same as its predecessor too, apart from every important part – the processor, or more accurately, the System on a Chip (SoC), which combines processor, graphics and RAM all in one package. The new M1 replaces the Intel Core i3, i5 or i7 of its predecessor. In the cheapest MacBook Air as tested, it has an 8-core processor CPU, and a 7-core graphics processor GPU, with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, but an 8-core GPU option is available. The M1 has four high-performance CPU cores that handle the demanding stuff such as crunching data and editing photos, while four high-efficiency CPU cores handle lightweight tasks such as sending emails. Apple declared its M1 chip would enable all-day battery life, and the company has hit that mark. This MacBook Air with M1 review has shown why its amazing endurance and shockingly good speed combined to take the MacBook Air to new heights. Number 3. Aces ROG Zephyrus G14 – Best Portable Laptop If you want to get the most bang for your hard-earned buck, then I have to recommend the excellent Aces Zephyrus G14. This is one of the most impressive gaming laptops out there, providing you a great portable design, superb performance specs, great battery life, solid display, nice audio, and so much more. Let's take a closer look. I have to say that the Aces ROG Zephyrus G14 is one of the sleekest and smallest gaming laptops I've ever seen. The lightweight body is all due to the amazing magnesium and aluminium used for its construction, perfect overall. The moonlight white color scheme is just amazing. The Asus Zephyrus G14 is packed with a 14-inch panel with full HD resolution and 120Hz native refresh rate. I have to mention that the panel supports AMD FreeSync, which works great for tear-free gaming even though the machine rocks an NVIDIA graphics unit. The Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 is packed with some super solid performance specs to provide you enough oomph to get you through any game with a high refresh rate and beautiful visuals. Let's start by saying that it's packed with a third-generation AMD Ryzen 9 processor with 16GB of RAM and 1TB of high-speed SSD to make it a productivity powerhouse. On the graphics department, it's armed with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 that'll impress everyone out there. Number 2. Razer Blade 15 Advanced – Best Gaming Laptop Thin gaming laptops are something of a holy grail, where performance is often limited by the heat generated by a slim chassis. But thanks to a good mix of power and form factor, 2020's refresh of the Razer Blade 15 Advanced model lives up to its name. The Razer Blade 15 Advanced model is all about design. While it's not alone in high performance, Razer advertises it as the world's smallest gaming laptop. 
What this translates to is a machine that marks itself as unique by trying to pack as much power into as slim and minimal a form factor as possible. This extends to weight too, as the Razorblade 15 Advanced Model's 4.7 pounds is lighter than both the Alienware M15R3's 5.3 pounds and the Gigabyte Aorus 15G XB's 4.9 pounds. It's packed with an Intel Core i7-10875H processor with an amazing NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 graphics card. This Razer Blade has the same 80 watt hour battery as before, and the battery life is pretty decent for a gaming laptop. For anyone else shopping for a new gaming laptop, I don't think you could go wrong with putting this one on your short list. Number 1. Dell XPS 15 9500 – Best All-Round Laptop Moving on, we have the Dell XPS 15 9500, which has been for a long time one of the best laptops out there, thanks to its amazing balance between the price and combination of performance and features. It's also a very attractive laptop, and the panel is just amazing. Let's take a closer look. The Dell XPS 15 9500 is made from a combination of aluminium and carbon fiber. This combo delivers durability and lightweight body at the same time. The carbon fiber deck looks very high-tech, and while we're at it, I should state that the keyboard delivers snappy performance. The Dell XPS 15 7590 measures just 0.7 inches at its thickest point. It's also packed with a great number of ports, including two USB-A ports, SD card reader, a Thunderbolt 3 port, HDMI 2.0, and a 3.5mm headset jack. The panel of this thing is a 15.6-inch OLED one with a native 4K 3840x2160 resolution that delivers amazing details. I should note that the color reproduction of this panel is just amazing at 240% of the sRGB color space. The brightness is at 630 nits, which is blinding, to be honest. In the performance department, this one has a 10th generation Intel Core i7 CPU with 16GB of RAM and 1TB of high-speed SSD. For graphical tasks, it has the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Ti GPU with 4GB of dedicated VRAM. It definitely is one of the best laptops in the market. Buying Guide Size Most laptops come in screen sizes that range from 11 to 17 inches. The entire system is sized to fit the display. That means smaller notebooks are lighter and more compact, and larger ones are bulkier. If you don't move the laptop much, a 15-inch model is fine. But if you plan to use the laptop on your lap or carry it around, a model with a 13 or 14-inch screen like the Dell XPS 13 may provide the best balance between screen space and portability. Children under 12 will find it easier to handle the model with an 11.6 or 12.5-inch display. Get a 17-inch laptop only if it's going to stay on your desk. Budget you probably know that different brands deliver different quality with their laptops, and if you stick with the big-name brands, you're assured to get a good laptop that'll get the job done. However, your budget will also be a significant factor when buying a new laptop. For that reason, try to find a balance between quality and price, but still, don't sacrifice on the specs and the features you need. It's better to wait a while to get a better laptop than to buy the first laptop you can afford. RAM Gaming can be RAM-intensive, and 8GB is what we recommend for even average productivity tasks. If you can, you should go for 16GB on a gaming PC. A laptop with a GTX 1650 or 1660 Ti usually comes with 8GB. Once you get to a GTX 2060 or higher, some will come with 16GB of RAM. If you can't get your laptop with 16GB of RAM now, consider upgrading it in the near future. Memory is upgradable in many gaming laptops, so this is an area that you can consider boosting later if you're handy 